I'm sitting now with Sharon from Pizza Piazza, which is located on the Windsor end of Chapel Street in Melbourne. Now, Sharon, the place looks amazing. You've uh, recently renovated? We yep. have. We just had a refurbishment oh, about a year, nearly a year ago now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's really looked nice and cosy and warm now. Beautiful. Now, I'm guessing Italian. Would it be far from the mark with Pizza Piazza? Yes. It's Piazza? Piazza. Piazza. There Piazza. You go. I'm sorry all <laughs> about Italian viewers, my Italian. We'll get better one day. Um, yes, it's a traditional menu, traditional yep. Italian, um, our traditional Italian pizzas, which we get a lot of Italians saying it's just like what they get in Italy. So, beautiful pizzas. Nice, but with a difference. With a difference. You've got two menus. Two menus, specially designed for the traditional lover of pizzas. Tick that box, yeah. And the traditional lovers of pizza yep. who have to have gluten free. A whole gluten-free menu. A whole gluten-free menu, which has pizzas, pastas, salads, and dessert. entrees, desserts, you name it, we have it. That's quite quite an achievement. How do you find people's reaction when they come in and they say, oh, it's do they either know about it beforehand or they're told by friends or is it a complete surprise? Yeah, or? a lot of people will um, know about it before they come. They do a bit of research to mm -hmm. find where they can eat um, gluten-free. Um, a lot of people just pass by and say, oh, gluten-free, I'll come in here. But when they come in, it's like a kid in a candy store. They just can't stop smiling. They're just over the moon that they can actually eat off a menu and not have to worry about contamination issues that of usually course. come with eating gluten-free. Yeah, the celiacs, a few of my good friends are celiacs actually. Now Fred, we saw him cooking the pizzas before. What's the uh, what's the base ingredient then for a, uh, a, a gluten-free pizza? Well, there's a mixture of flours. You've got your corn, your rice and soy flours. Okay. Um, very different from your traditional pizza and your base is just a little different. Yep. It's not a light, fluffy pizza if you're used to having wheat. Mm -hmm. but it's still very, very, very good. You're never going to get a good pizza like this one. Run us through what um, what Fred's prepared for us today. Okay, Fred's done our homemade spicy meatballs. Mm -hmm. We make the meatballs here, very delicious. We've got our arancini balls, which um, a lot of people who are gluten-free will not be able to eat this anywhere else because of the breadcrumbs. Um, mm -hmm. Usually your aranc arancini balls have got breadcrumbs obviously containing wheat. Yep. Ours are gluten-free and people just don't know the difference. Okay. They're just really, really nice. Yep. Uh, we have the linguine tiger prawn, mm -hmm. which has your um, tiger prawns, chilli, rocket and garlic. Yep. And we have our two delicious chocolate desserts. We've got our gluten-free chocolate cake and our homemade tiramisu. This one isn't gluten-free, but okay. our homemade one, which is very delicious. That all looks fantastic. It's good to um, come to a restaurant that provides so much choice for gluten-free and it's becoming a big part of you know, people's diets out there. So Sharon, thank you very much. I can't wait to um, try some of your yummy food. Very good.